Hi everyone, Teddy Baldessar here in Biel, Switzerland, visiting Hamilton here with Vivian Stouffer. Exactly, Stouffer. Stouffer, I want to make sure I said that right. CEO of Hamilton. Exactly. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to, meet you to as welcome well. you here in Biel. Fantastic to be here. So, to begin, I wanted to look at some new watches that you have in front of us for this year in 2022. We have some great watches on the table. Wanted to kind of walk through them one by one. So, would you mind presenting some of the new novelties for us for 2022? I think we could begin with maybe the order in which they're being released. So, we can start with the Jazz Master, which some of the people watching might already be familiar with because this has already been unveiled. But let's take maybe a closer look there to start. Yeah. So, here we, we selected a few pieces from the different animation that we're going to have mainly in the first semester of 2022. So, as you say, we'll start with the, with the Jazz Master. So, the first one I'm going to pick, it's um, it's a jazz master open art. So the, the open art is a piece that we is a collection that we launched in uh, 2009. So it's uh, not a new collection, but we decided to refresh it a little bit to give a modern touch to the to the collection. And uh, the open art is really interesting with this special opening that slowly, uh, between the years, became a signature of uh, of the Hamilton Jazz Master collection. Mm -hmm. So we reworked it in a 40 millimeter case. So yes. we totally reworked the the case. Uh, the, we kept, of course, the, the, the opening and we worked as well on a, on a leather which has this patina, patina look and mm -hmm. on the dial. So you will find different uh, color dial with the gradient dial in blue and green or this one, the one that you have in your hands with a, a silver dial or white dial mm -hmm. with the blue flamed uh, hands and, uh, and indexes. Very nice. It's encasing H10 caliber uh, with an Evacron balance spring uh, with, uh, of course, in all our product now with AT hour power reserve. Fantastic. What's the uh, maybe thought process around releasing this? Because I, I always say that Hamilton as a brand is fantastic at being that entry door and I think the mechanical side of these watches, like this is just fascinating to somebody. Is that, is that part of the reason why you think it's important to have these watches uh, be represented in uh, your collection? Yeah, so it's it's our modern and classic uh, collection, uh, the Jazz Master, so it's mm -hmm. a more contemporary, contemporary sure. uh, collection. And uh, in 2009, we opened this part of the of the dial to show the interesting part of the movement. So where you you see some movement, or where you have the space to make some decoration of the of the movement. So it was no specific explanation or story behind this uh, shape of the opening. But then throughout the years, it became a kind of a signature. So. Uh, so we decided to continue to, to animate, uh, to animate this, uh, this collection and to come with this uh, new 40mm uh, collection. It wears great in 40, available in a variety of different colors, uh, as well as now available with these different straps and then also bracelet version as well. Exactly. And so. the starting retail price is at 995 US dollar. That's great. Moving to another collection. Now, this is a watch that, as we were talking, I think you have to experience it in person to really appreciate it. And also you have to know the history of the Pulsar, the now PSR, and what this watch meant from an entire world of digital timekeeping. This really was the first. And to also do it in a very unique way with just simplicity in mind. So we saw recently the collaboration you did with the Matrix with this all blacked out case. Now you're bringing this into a more traditional production with the red backlight. Exactly. This is so beautiful. Can you tell us about this? That's, that's <laughs> an amazing piece. So um, in 2020, uh, as you said, uh, it's a piece of history. Mm -hmm. this, uh, this product is, uh, has been a revolution in a, in a sense of the watch, uh, watchmaking industry. In 1970, Hamilton was the brand who developed and launched the first digital, uh, digital movement. Uh, and that's, uh, that's something that stayed in, uh, in our history. And we decided in 2020 to, to relaunch it in a way, so with new technology. So we developed here internally with the Swatch Group uh, hybrid um, dial. So it's a uh, LED and OLED, LCD and OLED um, uh, screen that mm -hmm. we have put on this watch. But it's exactly the same dimension of the original uh, PID that we launched in, uh, in 1970. So in 2020, we launched a limited edition in, uh, in gold and a stainless steel version with this, uh, with this red uh, digit. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you said, uh, <laughs> end of last year, we had in our, in our development process green, uh, green dial. Yeah, that yes. when, when we developed it, we're like, wow, this is the Matrix watch. So we were in discussion as we are the Hollywood brand or mm -hmm. the brand really strongly yes. linked with the, with the movie industry. Mm -hmm. We entered in contact with Warner Bros and we made it uh, the Matrix watch. And this year we are, we are happy to present this uh, black PVD 
um, version with, uh, with the red display on it uh, that is uh, available since the uh, beginning of March. And I was mentioning to you, I think some people were like, okay, north of $700 for the stainless steel version, then you have nine, this is over $900 for yes. this one. You know, some people might say, oh, it's a, it's a quartz digital watch. I mean, is that too expensive? But I, you didn't cut any corners when it came to the actual construction of this case. The bracelet is very good. It's actually probably one of your better bracelets <laughs> that I've come across. So it's comfortable on the wrist. It wears incredibly well. And I think in black, it just has this mysterious look to it. And when you just, it just gets people's attention when yeah. you just, Exactly. It's and that's also, I mean, when you see, look at the glass, I mean, you have this really amazed. thick uh, glass that is going over of the, of the cases. Everything is developed here in, uh, in Switzerland as well. That mm -hmm. might explain a little bit the, the sure. price uh, difference with a standard or entry price point digital watch. Uh, but yet, in terms of finishing of the, of the, um, of the bracelet, mm -hmm. uh, is really something, especially when, we d you, when you have to do it in a PVD, it's quite, uh, quite challenging as well to, to have it nicely done. To anybody who has not handled this in person, I'd recommend try to handle this in person before you uh, cast judgment. That's all I will say about this watch, but it's yeah. phenomenal. I love it. It's but something normally, I would not normally like. Normally, but I like when you put it on your wrist, normally you put it in your pocket at the end. Okay, so for next. So this is the Ardmore collection. So the Ardmore is our uh, dedicated lady collection. Uh, we are not a lady brand, mm -hmm. uh, even if nowadays uh, ladies are, are also purchasing a lot of our khaki, khaki products sure. in, in 38. And there's more khaki but coming, by the way, so just yeah, stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we have dedicated collection to, to ladies, so it's the Ardmore. The Ardmore is a is an Art Deco design that mm -hmm. we, we launched in the late 30s, so in 1937. So it has always been part of the Hamilton collection uh, throughout the year. And we decided to give a little bit of punch uh, into the, um, the collection. So here you have the, uh, the version with this uh, sunny coral uh, leather. Uh, we have one as well with a, with a green, mm -hmm. uh, pastel green uh, one or fresh blue. So we have different colors in order to to bring a little bit more fresh and pop color into this uh, collection. So it's encasing a quartz movement mm -hmm. and uh, available for 445 US dollars. Mm -hmm. It's in a good price range. Great. Now, these next two are the ones I'm most excited about. We have what we've seen from an extension from what you were doing last year. So you did something that was new for the brand, at least that I'm aware of, where you incorporated and tied into a video game. And I actually don't know any watch brand that has done this yet, but it was a Far Cry video game where you released this titanium khaki field. You did that. Now this year, we're getting titanium to be extended into more of a standardized production run uh, for a core collection of the khaki field. Can you tell us about this? Because I'm excited about this. Yes, so uh, what we have decided, so the khaki field is the base uh, that the, the essence, the essence name of, uh, of Hamilton, this military touch that we, that we have when we were supplying the, the army uh, in the past. And uh, we have a quite wide range in our 38 mechanical, so hand winding uh, collection. And um, yes, we did a nice, nice, nice uh, project last year with uh, Far Cry 6 um, with the, in the gaming industry because we are the Hollywood brand. But uh, we can see that the, the whole movie industry is, uh, is moving around. And we had the impression that with the gaming, we can express exactly the same things. Mm -hmm. uh, so we decided this year to come with a titanium case on the 38 and 42 two. millimeters. Yes. So the two that we have here are 38, but mm -hmm. they exist as well in a, in a 42 mm -hmm. millimeter case. Uh, so it's a titanium case that the first time in the, in the 38. They are not hand winding, though they are automatic, yes. automatic uh, version. And uh, personally, I really like uh, this version as well because we, dial. Really, we worked on the dial like through concrete, uh, like a wall. So to give really this, uh, this adventure rough uh, finishing of the khaki field that express uh, the spirit of, uh, of Hamilton and our military heritage. Very cool. It has a like, texture. It almost uh, looks like a lunar surface, like the moon. It's, it's very cool. Yeah. I like no, that. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's very, very nice uh, watch and, uh, uh, that will be available at the end of this, uh, of this month and beginning of next month. So, so April. So April, end of April. Yeah, exactly. So 38. 42, uh, and then price range for these, these are? We are at uh, 895, it starts at 895 okay. US dollar. Wonderful, wonderful. And are these 100 meters of water resistance as well for it's this? It's 100 meter water nice. resistance. Nice, that's, that's fantastic. Okay, so now we have a chrono. Now I always tell people that if you're trying to get into an entry level Swiss chronograph, you can look at something like the Intramatic chronograph or the Chrono H. 
they are definitive points of value for two thousand dollars. I think for if you're trying to get a value integrated chronograph movement in a watch, I think Hamilton does um, maybe deliver the best offering. But to see a now another model that more aviation theme here. Uh, so this is a Pilot Pioneer chronograph, correct? Exactly. So we launched last year, I'm sure you remember, the Chronograph 8, uh, because we launched with, um, with ETA, we developed uh, uh, the chronograph hand-winding movement, which mm -hmm. is called the H51. So mm -hmm. of course, with our history, with our, our long partnership with the world of aviation, as we started to, to be on the wrist of Pilot in 1918, with the first air mail flight between Washington, DC, and New York. So it's a long history that we have at Hamilton with the world of aviation. So we decided to take a product that we, uh, as a reference, uh, to inspire us, I would say, uh, from a product from the 70s that we developed for, for the Royal Air Force. Um, so that's, uh, that's exactly this case. So we use this caliber, the H51. Uh, we integrated a silly, silicone uh, balance spring mm -hmm. in, the, um, in the movement for all our aviation uh, uh, chronograph uh, product. We put the, the silicone uh, balance spring. And uh, we took uh, exactly the same case as in the past, uh, same dimension of the case. So it's a 40 millimeter. Mm -hmm. And you have really these vintage uh, things where you have this glass box, sapphire glass box, uh, yes. that is really coming out of the, of, the, of the case. And we play with this grained uh, black dial and this old radium uh, super luminova on the, on the indexes and, uh, and, and the ends. So it's uh, this asymmetric case really vintage uh, look, but of course with the new technology that we can, uh, we can provide today. It's beautiful. And, uh, very, very nice uh, pieces for, you were saying uh, 2000 US dollar. Yes, we are 2045. Yes. We are doing our best to keep as, uh, it's amazing. as affordable as we, as we can. And that's uh, really something that is, uh, that is really uh, attractive for, for our customers. Yeah, I, I think people start to lose sight of how difficult it is to make a chronograph for both the movement. Uh, you, of course, have upside being part of the Swatch Group to you know have this you know value base and you can uh, customize it to your own liking. That's fantastic. But, but I think a lot of consumers just get caught up in unrealistic expectations of what they can get from a chronograph, how thin it could be. I, I just think this is so well positioned in the market. This is a nice new addition. Uh, this and the titanium uh, khaki fields, uh, that really stand out. I think this is going to be well received. And then 60 plus hour power reserve on yes, this as well. Yes, exactly. So on the chronograph, we are always at 60 hour power reserve. Mm -hmm. And for the three hands, we are at, uh, 80. at 80. Yes. Yes. Wonderful. And then thickness is very similar to the chrono eight. So exactly. you're, you're like 14.4 uh, yeah, or something yeah, like 14 that. 14.4 as, mm -hmm. uh, as for the chronograph H that we launched last year. And it's a manual line as well. Yes. Yeah. So it's very nice. Beautiful. Yeah, it's stunning. Fits well. Well, thank you so much for walking through these pieces. I mean, this is, I think, some great things. And this is just for really the first half of the year. So we have That's more coming. We have more coming, yes. So a lot of things to look forward to. But thank you all for watching. Again, thank you for hosting us. It's great it's to be in Switzerland finally and see some faces. It's good. It's a pleasure to be physically with you and to not to have to give interviews and uh, trying to trying to, to share the emotion of the product through a screen and to, to be here live with you. I mean, it was amazing. Thank, Thank you so you much. Buddy. Thank okay. you. Bye-bye, everybody.